वेलकम बैक गाइस विथ लेवल 5.4 रिलीज्ड आई वाज ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट अ वेरी बेसिक यू नो बॉयलर प्लेट एप्लीकेशन विथ यू नो द एडमिन एलटी थीम एंड लेवल 5.4 एंड व्यू जेस एंड दैट्स व्हाट यू नो ब्रॉट मी टू दिस ट्यूटोरियल यू नो देयर वाज वन बेसिक सिनेरियो वेयर now i wanted to have this collapse functionality um not you know being done through jquery and so i wanted it to be you know part of vue js and hence i decided why not make this as a component uh, which will also remember my state so i'll start with you know the application and its bare minimum Uh, you can go to this url i'll post this url on the description you can go there and in release you can take 0.1.0 which is the basic setup whatever i have done here is you know added the admin lt theme and you know you can just run the default migrations we have uh, these three migrations and a seed which creates a user with my email id and password is password and it creates a profile as well all right so that means i can log in to this application with the credentials and i am in the dashboard all right now what is happening if you can just quickly look at the classes is when we click on this button okay if you look here you know this particular place there is a sidebar collapse class which is applied when you know this is collapsed and it goes away when it is expanded so i click here again and if you can you will see this thing changes right so a sidebar collapse is applied which is very easy thing to do so why don't we quickly do that i'll go to sublime text and i have my application open so let us quickly create a new file okay inside resources assets js i'll have components and inside that i will have sidebar collapse okay dot view let makes it the full screen yeah this is better all right so first thing is i'll need a script export default i'll need a data and let's keep <coughs> you know because this is going to be a button right and i want um you know some kind of uh check when this needs to be clicked or not because later on i will be doing an ajax call as well so clickable by default it is true then i add a method okay and in that we will have a function called handle sidebar toggle okay this is one of the function and let's now quickly see what we need to do with the template sorry now just to give you a brief about how i have set up the views inside resources there is a folder called admin lte and then i have partials okay this is the main master blade and it is just including three things and now i am only concerned with the um body so let's quickly go inside body okay um this is where we will ideally need to add the class okay but uh, first okay we'll need to go to the top nav top nav is basically this entire part so in here let us quickly see which area we need to target there is something called sidebar toggle button so in our top nav we should have something as yes this is it so i'll copy this or rather cut from here and let us paste this in the template Now we are using view 2.0 to 
and it says that the template should have only one parent tag now this is an a tag so that's okay everything is inside that right so first we need to handle the hash so javascript void zero okay and then we will have v on click equals handle sidebar toggle okay this is the function that we are going to call now first things first this dot clickable equals false okay this is primarily because you know later on i'm going to do a you know post call but and you know that's why i'm kind of keeping the button um how do you call it um, as clickable versus not so you know the basic logic is if this dot clickable then i will first make it false all right and then document dot body dot class list okay uh, this is basically you know a way to toggle the classes so if you go to our application i'll quickly show you first and then we'll write the code class list okay so we have a method called toggle and in that if we can have sidebar collapse so you see we can easily get the behavior i i know that the animation is not there but i'm not very concerned right now with the animation okay um but yeah so we have this we can just simply copy paste this right okay and yeah so this component is ready now quickly uh, we need to pull our app.js inside resources assets js okay um let me pull up the component so importing custom components and in this i'll go import sidebar collapse from components sidebar collapse okay and once that is done here view dot component side bar collapse and okay add this okay our app.js is working let me see oh, um, npm run watch this is as part you know the new laravel um, installation on laravel version because previously we used to do gulp now it has changed and now we are uh, using webpack and the r commands which we get for that are npm run watch npm run build and production so we are doing that okay npm run watch let it start okay and yeah in here we need to add this tag okay done this is compiled let us see oh that's gone strange um app.js is working on this oh yes the app is not working so id equals app this should bring us the application now let us quickly see so we have data and in that message hello world okay and why don't we in body i'm using this and inside dashboard i have a view called dashboard dot blade so why don't we add the view.js content here right this is our main app okay 
um, we are looking at the dashboard so I'll just explain you how I'm going about it so in our dashboard we are using a function called page dashboard inside user controller right so in that in the page dashboard function I am calling uh, dashboard view and which is inside admin LTE pages dashboard right so here this is the message and let's see no Vue.js is not loading I think I have still not added the JS file so to get the JS file we'll go into the master blade see okay we have footer so inside footer we need to get the script mix js slash app dot js i think now it should work and it does and we have this as well right we have the button and it is doing a collapse okay expand is not working why because i think i haven't uh, toggled the true false for sidebar where is your sidebar sidebar collapse yes so once this is done is true okay so collapse expand this is working 